All right, I'm putting my mom in drag again. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Trixie Mattel. If you're new here, I am a world famous cross dresser with a passion for makeup and I'm here with my mom. This is Val, say hi. Hello everyone. Now in the beginning of this channel, we put my mom in drag. It was really fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. It took a long time. Yes. I'm gonna try to go a little faster today, but I thought we could put you in drag here today using some Trixie products. We have some Sugar Pill products. We have a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna glue my mom's brows down and we are gonna step up for a very special moment. In nature. In nature, where we get in touch with nature. And because it's YouTube, that's all we're gonna say about it. She's on vacation, she's in California, let her live. But uh, let's go glue down some brows and um, feel the earth, shall we? Yes. Please. Okay, great. We're doing a proper skin prep today because you know if it was me, I would just abuse myself. But since it's you, I'm gonna do nice things. Well, thank you. This is the Paula's Choice Pore Minimizing Toner. It's so, so good. This is some of the best skincare products there are. I think. Really? Yeah, this woman named Paula, she basically makes these products with as minimal ingredients as possible. So pretty much it's just a bottle full of the stuff you want. All right, this is the Pure Lease Blue Lotus Essential Daily Moisturizer. It says perfect for under makeup. This is the Big Trixie uh, Synthetic angle blush brush. This is so good for just- What is this for now? This is just moisturizer. Okay. You know, women lose up to 60% of the moisture in their skin throughout their life. If anybody wonders, this is my injury. The way I tell it, Brandon slammed my finger in the car of his door, in the Gosh. door of his car. <laughs> but it hurts so bad, I had to go to the ER. It's a whole thing. You'll hear about it on the podcast. That's where I tell my gross stories. How does it feel? Feels nice. Blessed. So did you become famous the last time you were on this YouTube channel? No, not really. <laughs> Do people recognize you from Trixie Motel? People that I know. Mm -hmm. That's not recognizing. That's yeah. that's just person to person. I know. Nobody walks up to me on the street and says, hey, I've seen you in Trixie Motel. Well, that's good though. You have your privacy, you know? Yes. My sister's here too. Say hi, Des. Hi. There you go. And we have Nick. Uh, Nick is in the studio on camera today. Can you believe it? This feels like on several television shows, like Wendy Williams, when she yeah. would talk to like the DJ. These are, th this is how you know I'm treating you really good. These are brand new sponges. Good. I wouldn't treat myself that good. Do you want a hand mirror so you can watch along? Sure. Do you like the mirror? I do. Thanks. I don't want to put it in front of my. That's one of my mirrors, Mom. I know it is. Okay. Well, you kind of like hesitated. The Oh Honey 2 Sugar Pill collab. I like that. Thank you, that was the only answer. Some nice bold colors. Did you say bold colors? Bold, bold. You know what, I'm gonna use the back of my hand. You're my mom. That's fine. Whatever germs, it's like, that should have sailed. I'm gonna lick the brush too. Yeah, I might lick her head, I don't know. See. No, don't do that. I never licked my hand and put your hair down when you were a kid. <laughs> no, you didn't. That would have meant you were paying attention to me. This is the Makeup Forever Foundation. I mean, you're not far off from my skin tone, so I'm just gonna use a lot of the same products. It's like I'm getting a little forehead massage. <laughs> <laughs> um, the last time we did this, we did the video and then you looked so good that we were like, well, why don't we go out tonight? But it was like, what time was it? Like 3 p.m., mom? Yeah, we had to um, So we had to wait. Rest. So my mom sleeps out here on the pullout couch with the makeup on, like. <laughs> so we went to Hamburger Mary's, remember? Yes. Do you remember who we saw? No, I don't remember their names. It was Jackie Beat and Sherry Vine. Jackie Beat came up and said, you looked so gorgeous. Do you remember that? Yes, she came up to the table. Yes. We went to Precinct. Now, oh, my... wait, you didn't say the other one. I won a prize. Oh, we... okay. This is, why don't you tell them what happened? Oh, they called people up for their birthday and I wasn't going to go up there, but Brian kind of pointed me out. And so I went up there and whoever shake their booty won a prize. Yeah, so my mom's in drag at Hamburger Mary's, like, doing this and it was like, it was sort of, they say that they say that Watchmen was the comic, was the book where, not, uh, Watchmen is the novel where comics grew up. And me watching my mom twerk with Jackie B was the moment I grew up. It was like, well, <laughs> we can't go backwards. We saw this and we're gonna carry this with us forever. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Just, just makeup is stupid. <laughs> like putting oh. dirt on your face and I'm <laughs> like, it's just stupid. 
well, why don't you tell them what happened? We went to the bar and oh. there was a little VIP area. We got to yep. sit in the VIP area. Everybody was so nice. You would have thought my mom had been doing drag her whole life. Like the big muscly go-go boys were coming up and like kissing her hand. And she was Yes, like, it was really, it was, I had so much fun. You met Fina Barbatol there. Fina was in yes, drag. Yes, yes. And then we were outside waiting for the taxi. And why don't you tell them what happened, mom? A little short guy came up to me and started hitting on me. Yeah, this guy, and let's say he might be a gentleman who prefers little ladies with something extra, perhaps, special ladies. He came up to mom in the street and starts hitting on her. He comes up this close and is like, prop now he, mom, hitting on her makes it sound like he, he brought you flowers. No, he, he put his arm around my waist and... He was like propositioning you because he thought my mom was a, a man in a, in a dress. And so I had to come up and say, hi, that's, that's a woman. And then the guy, as soon as they said that's a woman, he left. He was like not interested anymore. And by the way, I love that I am a man in a dress and I'm standing right next to you. And he walked right by me, didn't he? <laughs> yes, he did. He couldn't care Maybe you were too tall because he was a short man. He was really little, yeah. The hangover was fierce. Yeah, I was just say the next day was awful. You look up for me. So you can, you can put your head forward and look up with your eyes. You're like, one of us has to keep it together here. So. In the middle of our putting this video together, we decided to open up the video to the children on Twitter who have burning questions for my mom. Because in the last video, which you can watch here, we basically kept it free and chatted, but uh, the children have questions for you. Are you willing to answer the questions? Yep. Nick, what are the questions? Paige at BLH Trixia asks, uh, when was the moment you realized Trixie was actually quite famous? Um. She still doesn't think that. <laughs> yes, I do. Well, it was amazing when we were on the street, people walked up to him and said, you know, hey, knew who he was. So that was great. But I knew he was doing well when he moved out here. Yeah, it's too expensive to live. You can't move out here unless you have some kind of job. What about Milwaukee when I said, uh, when you, we came to see me and Katya at the past? Oh, that was great. I that mean, was there was fabulous. just so many people there. I was like, well, this is different, you know? Yeah, we had a good time. All right, so the way I normally do this at this point, I start sketching out the eyeliner. So I guess that's what we're doing. Doing other people's makeup stresses me out. At Maddie Mattel asks, what's your favorite part about living in Wisconsin? Do you have a favorite part about living in Wisconsin? Yeah, the fall season. That's a really good answer. Would you like collaborate on that? Well, the colors are beautiful. Halloween's fun. And then you have Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, do you want me to say The order of holidays. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> And Christmas. She's like, well, and there's Arbor Day, and then, no, you're right, I do kind of miss the the fall, but the fall, the problem with it is you're on borrowed time because it's about to be winter in two seconds. You know what I mean? This is so uneven. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, don't look, don't even look. Yeah, that's better. Okay, great. I'm taking the Sugar Pill Oh Honey palette here, the Oh Honey 2 palette, and I'm gonna get into this Sting color, which is like a deep wine. Let me see, do I get any of the sparkly colors on me? Yeah, if you want. I do. I like doing your makeup. Your skin is so soft and you're not a man, so everything's so like. That's what you said last time. So it goes in place. Yeah, it like, I'm not working against anything. Like this is, this is following real anatomy, which is like much easier for sure. If you're a drag queen out there and you haven't put your mom in drag, I, I strongly recommend it. The last time we did it, honestly, I was like, this is one of the most like vivid memories I have with you is being in drag fun. with you. It was, it was so crazy. When we were like at a gay nightclub in drag, both of us, I was like, mm -hmm. what is happening? This is gonna look so good. I'm like already into this. I'm gonna take this bumble color too, which is like more of a red and warm it up up here. Well, last time we did this, actually, we were lucky because the star of We're Here, Eureka, borrowed us a dress from my mom, which was really nice. Although she is about 6'5". It was kind of It was long. so long. Luckily, when we went out, I had something else to put you in. But we didn't ping your wig on. Remember, it was slipping off all night? Yes. Is this why people like get in touch with nature and then do makeup? She feel like you're like an artist. Well, those are pretty colors. Nice, right? Mm -hmm. Can you look up for me? Val, if we have to go through this one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. So okay. look forward with your head and then open your eyes and observe the ceiling. I think I'm going to soften it a little bit this time. You were like really tricksied out last time. I'm going to try to go more like glamorous. You did look like a clown last time, but it's because you looked like me. <laughs> Here's one. At uh, Maru TTV asks. Oh, I know him. Can you tell us an embarrassing story from Trixie's childhood? Damn. Not embarrassing to me, might be embarrassing to him. Oh God, That's great. even better. When he won the uh, the talent show. I'm not embarrassed about winning. No, no, but you had that three piece uh, denim outfit on. Yeah, it was a school talent show. Right, and I then- I was in kindergarten. And then they seen it, somebody seen the film of it and they ended up having you sing at the, uh, Miss Junior Wisconsin 
Oh my yeah, God, they had it there that. at the school. Yeah, I sang My Girl by The Temptations. I was five years old with a mullet. And there was all these like teenage beauty queens doing like their walk, you know, walking and posing. And I was, I was probably inappropriately cast for that. Looking <laughs> back, they probably should just focused on the girls, but I'm going to do some eyebrows now. This is that Urban Decay uh, brow blade thing. I'm so obsessed with this. That MCN4200 asks, at this point in his career, what route do you go when buying Brian gifts? She knows what I like. I do, otherwise I ask him what he wants. Every oh, yeah. year I give her like a list of foods I want cooked and when I come over and that's my gift. So I'll just call and be like, I want this cheesy potato casserole. I want, you know, I'll just say what I want. All right. Oh, oh I have a question for you. You've been in drag once before and yes. you went to a gay club in drag. Yes. Now, if they called you on stage and you had to do a song, if you had to pick one song that you know, a female song, what song would you want to do in drag? I would like girls just want to have fun. By Cindy Lauper? <laughs> yeah. That is a great piece of music. I did a karaoke one time. One time? You yeah, because I was really bad. <laughs> one time was enough. That's okay. Listen, being bad is part of fun, the fun of karaoke, I think. I always sing rap music. Do you? Yeah. David, I went to Orville Peck's birthday the other day and David, I like blinked and David was singing um, Rain On Me with Noah Cyrus. And I was like, what is happening? I'm just gonna sketch out an eyelid here. I have some shape tape. I just wanna kind of start to see what this is gonna look like. Yeah, so I think she's gonna do like an open eyelid now this time. So I'm gonna take the shape tape and I'm gonna go around the brows and then I'm gonna do the other side and then we'll be right back. Looking good. Why is there a giant thumbprint on your face? I guess that would be me. Sorry. <laughs> All right, now that I sketched out the crease, I'm gonna go in and just deepen some of this. So let's start doing some contouring here, some facial contouring. I mean, I've been just taking this Make It Forever foundation and just like smushing it. So let's just do that. I am like contouring somebody who already has a a, a round face, so it's kind of like a moot point. But if we're gonna do this much eye makeup and no facial contour, it doesn't really make any sense. At Minitazamo asks, what do you think of Trixie and Katya live? Oh yeah, you saw it in the I did, I seen it. I liked it very much. It was a great time. It was funny, it was entertaining. I'm really f***ing this makeup up. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Don't be messing up my face. I'm not trying to, but I'm just not doing a good job. It'll come together. It always comes together, we think. I could deal with more nature. Me too. Okay. There we go. <laughs> All right, cut. <laughs> <laughs> At Vittor Stenner asks, don't you think your son has enough money to fix his baldness? <laughs> Damn. Probably, but he likes it. Does everyone? He's living the look. Does everyone successful have to alter their body permanently through surgical procedures? Jeez. Also, I have wigs. If I wanted hair, I go over there and put some hair on my head and go home. Does that hurt? No, but I can feel it. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, it's no, it's fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> It's actually gonna turn out fine. I mean, my makeup looks psychotic until the very end. Oh my God. The, the tears, the tears. This is gonna work. Does that make you feel confident that I said it like that? Yeah. That Bunny Mattel asks, what do you think of Trixie's music? I like it a lot. Some of it I maybe don't get, but I still like it. My mom was like my first audience. I used to go play music for her while she hung clothes on the line. Yep, you'd sit on the trampoline. Let's see. I just painted that nose on crooked. How do you feel about being like a, a beautiful woman who maybe once had her nose broken and it looked crooked. No, oh, thank you. Okay. I did a little bit of white under the eyes, so it's gonna help like brighten here. I think I might've told this story already, but there was a woman at the makeup counter when I worked there and she would come and get, she had a newborn and she would like sometimes nurse during it, which is totally fine. But then she was so like tired that she would be nursing and falling asleep like this. And I'd have to like, <laughs> like get her to wake up. Cause I thought, <laughs> what if this woman and her baby fall out of the chair? Can I do this to you? Yes. That Natalie Mattel asks, do you enjoy being a grandma? I do. She's obsessed with it. I love being a grandma. I also love being a grandma. No, I love having a, a, a baby in their family. I love babies. I love having a baby in the family that I don't have to be really like responsible for. I just get to hold the baby and then leave. Although last time, did what happened last time? I tried, to, I tried to hold the baby last time and the baby would cry when I walked in the room. I think the baby hates bald people. But I saw the baby in October. And I came back in January and she was like, who are you? Babies are not very smart. You took that really personally, didn't you? Was she a, a year and a half old, not even? I know, but she should know. 
I got her a present this year, so maybe that'll help. I feel like with kids, you have to reward them. I love this powder. This is the Anastasia Banana Powder. It's so good. Brushing, brushing, brushing. So I have a little bit of lighter concealer for the top. This is the Multitasker from Rimmel. This is nice. We used this in the Rimmel video, and I'm just gonna use this to do a little more on her eyelids because I'm gonna start adding shadow to the eyelid. So I'm gonna go in and set this eyelid with this queen color, this gold. At but um, Liam asks, are there any Ojibwe traditions that are important in your family? The tobacco thing. We do tobacco at funerals, we burn sage and... The campfire thing? Oh, for um, after um, someone passes, yeah. you burn the fire for seven days. Nope, no photos, no mirrors, and no glasses around the casket. Do you know that one? I do. I think it's because... They thought they would take their soul away there. They thought I thought they thought they thought they would see their reflection and the spirit would stay instead of go. That's what I thought it was. Maybe you're calling grandma a liar. Oh, I don't know. You know, that woman told different stories at different times. That's also true. <laughs> yeah. This brand actually, this is Prados Beauty. This is a brand owned and operated by an indigenous woman. Oh, what did you think of the workout? I loved it. I love the themed rooms. I love the style of it. What would you say your favorite room was? Kinda like the flamingo room. Honestly, as time goes on, I think that is my favorite too. It's just so like Palm Springsy. This is gonna look, I actually think this makeup might turn out better than the last time I did this, to be honest. Open. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do the other eye and be right back. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the other end of the brow blade, which is like a pen, it's so easy. Brows especially, I don't know what it is. They're so much easier to do on someone else. Why, do you get them crooked on yourself? Yeah, and plus you're, you're kind of like, Doing both sides of something. Mm -hmm. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner. This is Midnight Cowboy, and this is gonna be really, really nice. You turn your head that way. It's like a really fine, fine gold glitter. Ba -ba! Yeah, that's so much cooler. Oh, I like that. And then I actually think we're gonna cut the crease, so I'm gonna take this Prados Beauty Liner, and I'm gonna do like a little tight. Look at the difference from this side. Like the glitter with the cut crease is so much better than the other side. We gotta do some white liner here. You know what? I'm just gonna do the white liner off camera. We'll be right back. You do look like snuffle over kids. <laughs> you do. Thanks. They're really uncomfortable on me. So, I mean, that's just. Can you see? Yes, I can see. Bring that sucker on. That cold glue to me always feels really gross. That looks good though. All right, it's time for blush. So I have selected for you this wonderful blush called Total Betty. And it's really neutral. So it's like I said, last time we had you kind of clowned out. I'm trying to do like a slightly more beautiful job today. So the blush in the Oh Honey 2 has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So you can kind of use it as a highlight. I love blush. I don't know if it's ever been discussed on this channel. <laughs> I love blush. Lip time. Yes. Oh. All right, I got an itch right here. What can I do? I don't Use your fingernail my... and just poke it. I don't know how you do this every day. Uh, Mom, I or have stay it on. I've in it all day long. All day long. Like all day long. It's disgusting. You have. You can't imagine sometimes at the end of the day the feeling of like the makeup coming Cleaning off. your face off. I bet it's, you it's just um, refreshing. Yeah. Like you almost get a second wind. You take your drag off and you're like, oh. I'm not like exhausted or in a bad You're mood. Like, I I'm feel good. Like, totally. So I kind of want to do like a purple neutrally lip thing. So I'm going to take this Boundless Berry from Makeup Forever, my favorite pencil. I mean, on a new person, I like to sketch out what I'm going to do. Oh, these are so bad. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> like what is wrong with me? The symmetry. I mean, I don't have any good at symmetry when I'm doing it myself. So on another person, it's like, it's a battle. <laughs> what do you think of Trixie's makeup company? I think it's a fabulous business that, um, just right for him. And to read. What was that? Instead of read. <laughs> I think it's perfect for you. Wait, I like No, just right. I mean, for you, for your talents, for your abilities. She's like, it's talents. cute for you. Let's see. This is the uh, Maybelline uh, vinyl in Koi. I've never used this. I think I'm going to like it. Just don't, don't, don't go worry about it. They feel sticky. Mm -hmm. I like these, but they do feel, compared to the other formula, just like a little stickier. The normal Super Stay formula is like, cushiony and this to me feels like syrupy a little bit but i like the way it looks so deal with it right so deal with it so we're about done here we're gonna do some wig and costume and be right back are you ready for the wig yes i am okay great <gasps> what it's just funny look at the camera let's see what it looks like it does look at the <laughs> this costume sitting down is funny it looks like i don't know a tarp a sequin tarp <laughs> I need earrings. I'm gonna get you some earrings. The purple. No, it didn't. Oh. It's just such a Ooh. difference. Oh yeah, the earrings make it much better. And then this is Rose Prick by Tom Ford. <laughs> oh, is that a little dance? <laughs> I don't know. Get the wig on. <laughs> 
It smells nice. It's nice, right? For a rose perfume, I actually think yeah. it smells not like an old lady. No, Thanks, which would be fine. No, touch, touch <laughs> me. Just not like an old lady. All right, what do you think? I like it. Great, thank you so it's, much. No, it's wonderful. Especially once we got the wig on, it's just in the outfit. Yeah, we don't have to go. Um, we don't have to go out and get drunk this time. No, we do not. But you could. But we could. We could. This outfit is so funny because what you look like. You look like those videos where people people do a tiny face by like putting their shirt here and they paint like a they like paint. I'm oh yeah, yeah, those. yeah. You look like a like a tiny face person because. Because the neck is so high. Also, this is one of my reveals from the Grown Up Tour. It's barely, it's like a curtain. Sparkly. How do you feel, gorgeous? I feel sparkly. Right? No, it always brings out a different perspective of, your, you know? That's why why when we went out that time, I had so much fun. Not only because I had the alcohol with it, but it's just, you can um, be someone else. I know, people were, like, people were coming up to her and she was like, like putting her hand out and shit. I was like, relax. You're feeling yourself, <laughs> I see it. Yeah, she, she, she became yourself. a diva really quickly. <laughs> It looks good. I love it. You're, I do. This wig is falling off. I know it. You blink. Oh, good. They're both blinking. This turned out good. Nobody's like fighting with me, but I'm acting like that. I think it turned out good. No, I like it. I like it a lot. And you're right. It didn't take actually as long as it took you last time. No, it's a, I, I sped through it. Or maybe because it was warp time because they were all, you know, yeah, nature. I, I think it was that, but also I was, this is the first time I've done that and done this and it doesn't make you sweat the small stuff. You just go past it. Like the wig is falling I know, off I and I'm fine like with it. it. <laughs> Why don't we put your hairline here? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's good, right? All right, well, you want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye. <laughs>